everyone well today I've got just got a quick simple project to share with you um, this is a frame that I got from Ikea and it kind of got clips in the back so I've unclipped it and I'm just going to decorate this with um, Imagination Crafts Gesso give it a coat of gesso and then I'm going to use the starlight paints and um, blues and greens and pinks and lilacs and um, I'm going to use rice paper I've got an image of birds and you know me and my birds I love my birds and I've got rice paper which I've actually put onto card to adhere to the inside of the frame and um, so it's just going to be a quick simple project today but I do hope you enjoy and um, I'll turn you it overhead so I'm just going to put that to one side because I'm not going to change anything on that and this is the image I was telling you about that I've the rice paper and I just think it'll look really nice in there so and you know me and my birds I love my birds so I just thought that would look really really nice there and um, so first things first I'm going to put that to one side put it down so I don't ruin it and um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my gesso and my stipple brush white gesso and this is all from imagination crafts and I'm just going to stipple all round the frame so as I do this obviously you don't want to sit and watch me do this I'm going to um, play some music and uh, speed up so I hope you enjoy gun I've done around the sides and the reason I've stippled it is because I get a nice texture and I'm just going to lift it up and you can see the texture which is what I was after I didn't want it smooth so I'm going to give this a quick blast with the heat gun okay so that's now dry so what I'm going to do is I've got all my parts so I've got um, pink sunset Pink sunset, I've got lavender, I've got cyclamen, cyclamen got misty green I do like this colour she says and I've got lilac blue so I'm just going to start stippling on All the way around using different colours. And I'll just bring it up so you can see the nice sheen. Just 
just do over here just making sure that I get get it all and I'm going to follow the colour oh I'm going to follow the colour down So even the sides of the frame are going to be different as well. Oh god. Might be a good idea if I took them off there, might not. Sorry, I'm having a, a bit of a catastrophe of a day today. There we go. I'll bring this round and I need some more. So I can bring this down. making sure I've got all all the white so I've just done this cut lines just so you can see and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward and um, continue on with with the uh, other colours. Is that done? Um, I'm going to 
give it a quick blast with the heat gun and then leave it to dry and um, I'm going to um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of my alchemy wax and I'm going to dry brush over I'm going to dry brush over it so uh, let's just get this uh, dried and then get the alchemy wax There we go. That wasn't quite good. So the reason I've stippled it is because I want I want the texture on it. I don't want it to be smooth. So quite liking that. So okay. So that is dry, and I'm going to get some wax. For goodness sake. I'm going to have to clean the lid. Right, okay. Come on, Linda. Get your act together, eh? Right, let's just put on some on here. And I'm going to dry brush it on. Working it up my brush and then I'm just going to highlight everything. leave that out for now because I need to clean that. Right, okay, so that's that done. And um, I'll just put that to one side while it dries. And, oops, so that's done. So now I want to some of this on here which is the magic bond so I'm just moving it until I get it in the right place I might give it a bit of a um, give it a bit of a spritz actually. I'm using the amethyst and I just it 
doesn't matter that I've got it on the inside of here because you're not going to see the inside. I'm just going over with the tissue. And I'm going to place this down on here. And uh, I'm going to click it, click it in place. Just turn it over a bit. is my finished project completed I really like how it's all turned out it's still a bit tacky because obviously it's not dry yet um, but I'm really pleased with now just adding that little bit of um, spritz in the starlight amethyst on the background just kind of adds to it I'll lift it up so you can see there we go, if I tilt it, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, that's today's project. I hope you've enjoyed and um, until next time, happy crafting. Bye bye for now.